Welcome to Barbecue Pitboys.com. Hey, today it's jerk chicken at the pit. So we've got a whole chicken. Here we've got some uh, scotch bonnet pepper flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, dried thyme. We've got some smoked salt. You're going to need some black pepper. You got some ginger and allspice. We've got some demerara sugar. We've got some white vinegar. Some soy sauce. Ooh, some chopped red pepper. We've got some pimento berries. All right. You're going to need an onion, some fresh ginger. You're going to need some green onions, the scallions. And here we've got some sprigs of thyme. All right, let's start putting this together. First thing is we want to make the jerk dry rub. So we'll start with three tablespoons of smoked salt. We've got some uh, thyme. It's about a tablespoon. Here we're adding a tablespoon of scotch bonnet pepper flakes, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, three tablespoons of smoked salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ginger, and one teaspoon of allspice. You gotta have the allspice in the jerk, right? Give it a good mix with your handheld mixer and then put it aside. Now, for the wet ingredients. And jerk chicken has both wet and dry, right? So, we've uh, chopped up some green onions. And for the jerk wet marinade, you're gonna need some slices of ginger. And for the exact ingredients and recipe, of course, head on over to our website and you can print it out from there, all right? So, we'll just take some of the skin off and take some slices of this fresh ginger, throw it in. It's an essential component to jerk, right? And of course, we've got an onion here. So we'll use about a half an onion or so with this recipe, more or less. Now, we want to add four tablespoons of soy sauce. Here we've got two tablespoons of pimento berries. Here we've got some white vinegar, about four tablespoons. And here we've got one chopped red sweet bell pepper going in perfect and last but not least we're gonna add some of our dry rub to this mix perfect and for those who have electricity just use your fancy ass chopper to give it a good mix and then put it aside Rustaman vibration y'all positive all right now let's prepare the chicken so, of course, you can um, source your chicken. You can have it already cut up for you, whatever. But it's best always to use a fresh chicken like this. These are usually the better chickens, right? Pieces are often cut out because of certain marks on the chicken in the production line. They just don't want to show them. They cut off the parts. So buy a fresh chicken like this and cut it up yourself. So um, here we've got... Joseph Q, the Joseph Q chapter, he's just um, cutting the backbone out of this chicken. It's pretty easy to do. Just take your 10-inch uh, uh, butcher, that, pull it out, and then you separate the legs, the wings. You know all about doing that, right? Pretty easy. And when you buy a whole chicken like this, too, it's often cheaper. All right, so it's not only probably better for you, but it is cheaper. So, perfect. Now, of course, uh, a lot of you know how to do this and you do it routinely, but then we got a lot of newbies out there, right? So uh, this is worth watching. You just need a good knife, a well-balanced knife, a substantial knife, like this uh, carbon steel knife we're using here. Now, of course, you can go ahead and use your um, cleavers. This works just fine. All right, the chicken parts are done. Now, we're going to take the wet marinade and we're going to dredge all these pieces. This is the best part. This is what jerk chicken is all about. And use your God-given fingers and rub it in. You can even get some of it under the skin. 
Pit Master Privilege. Get that wet all over there. Nice. And now we're going to grab our dry rub. Get it over every piece of this chicken. Now the dry and the wet, obviously, it here is real easy. Get it all over. Man. If you've ever been to Jamaica, well, you don't have to be to enjoy a good jerk chicken. All right. Oh, man, I can smell it now. It's ready for the grill. And here we're going to use a barrel grill. And of course, we're going to uh, cook it over um, charcoal or wood. Traditional, you would, uh, you would put it over pimento wood. But since it's not native up here, <laughs> we'll just use a good smoke wood. And we're going to cook it at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll take a little over an hour. Are you kidding me? All right. Now let's check on this. Oh, here we go. We're about halfway on into this and you can see how the skin is beginning to crisp up with that awesome dry and wet rub. Oh. Toast to the pit master, right? <laughs> And in the miracle of time, a little over an hour has gone by. We've cooked it to an internal temperature of about 175 degrees Fahrenheit, more or less. And look at that. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I got to call out for some jerk chicken right now, right? Take a look at that. There's just nothing like it. Now, you can serve it the way you want, but it's often served in pieces, in bites. And for those of you concerned about heat, well, it's got some heat, but it's reasonable. It'll just open up those taste buds, blow them apart. So this is the part where the pit master is going to eat in front of you, and he's not apologizing. And like I said, head on over to our website to get the uh, ingredients, to print it out. Or if you're on Face, follow us. We appreciate that. Or if you're on the tube, subscribe. Oh, man. Good. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.